Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James Grounded Family Bible Study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly, I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son, Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Exodus chapter 6. We left Moses with God, not listening to what God had said. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go. And with a strong hand shall he drive them out of the land. So Moses, the final time that Israel is going, it's it's the last straw. It's the last step. It's a demand. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, which we studied, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty. But my name, Jehovah, this is the first capitalization of all the letters in the Bible. Jehovah, God. I am Almighty was not known unto them. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had not known the name of Jehovah. God Almighty, God. But he reveals his holy name to Israel. And we break open the New Testament, we get a baby that is named Jesus. Jehovah saved. Jehovah is a name that is a reference to Israel. And I have also established my covenant with them, the Jews, to give them the land of Cana, the land of their pilgrimage, where they were strangers. Nowhere does God ever give a, a land to anybody but the Jews. And there's one specific land. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel. Whom the Egyptians keep in bondage. And I have remembered my covenant. God hears. God hears our complaints. God knows our, our, our bondages. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel. I am the Lord. I will bring you out. From under the burdens of the Egyptians. Well to them they have. He hasn't. It's been an empty promise. And I will rid you out of their house. Of, I mean, out of their bondage. And I will redeem you. I will buy you back. With an stretched out arm. And with great judgments. God is going to purchase Israel. Through Satan. Through Pharaoh. By all the stuff he does. And they'll come out. Under the blood of the lamb. That lamb pays the price. The lamb of God. Which take away the sin of the world. Pays the price. I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out under the burdens of Egypt of the Egyptians. Notice it says you a God. He already knows they're gonna fall into other gods. At the second advent will God be the God and the only God. And we'll see that when we get to Isaiah. I will bring you into a land concerning the which I did swear to give it to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I will give you for an for heritage. I am the Lord. But they went and served other gods. They went and had idols. They murdered. They killed the prophets. And God had to destroy. He built them back up. They murdered 
the Son of God, he destroyed it again. And Moses, and Moses spake so unto the children of Israel. But they hearkened not unto Moses for anguish of spirit and the cruel bondage. It's become worse. I'm not giving you straw. You go get your own straw and you will provide what you're supposed to provide. And they're getting beaten. They're being whipped. Probably killed. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Go in, speak unto Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, that he let the children of Israel go out of his land. And Moses spake before the Lord, saying, Behold, the children of Israel have not hearkened unto me. How then shall Pharaoh hear me? I mean, okay, the, the children of Israel, they're not listening. They're your people. They honor you. They respect you. You want me to go into this heathen, this ruler who's already despises your children, who despises me, and you expect him to listen? How then shall Pharaoh hear me who am of uncircumcised lips? He's, a, he's not a Jew. He's, not, he's a heathen. You think he's going to do? Listen to me, God? To him, the Jews are servants. They're slaves. They're not worthy to be listened to. The Lord spake unto Moses. And that's not an alibi, I believe. We know Moses is alibi before, but this is the truth. He's already appeared before. Pharaoh said, well, well, who is this God? I don't know who this God is. And I'm not going to listen to him. And what Moses is doing before God, he's just repeating what Pharaoh said. He's not going to listen. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, Give them a charge unto the children of Israel, and unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Get them out. And they will get out. These be the heads of their father's houses. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanak, Palu, Hezron, Carmi, these be the families of Reuben. The sons of Simeon, Jemiel, Jemin, Ohad, and Jachin, and Zohar, and Shul, the sons of a Canaanite-ish woman, these are the families of Simeon. I always follow Simeon. He's a mixed marriage and God records it. These are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generation. Gershom, and Kohath, and Merari. And the years of the life of Levi were 137 years. Imagine living 137 years old. And how much of it was cruel. Until they did not know jo uh, Joseph. When he was under that. And the sons of Gershon, Libni and Shimil, according to their family. And the sons of Kohath, Amram, Izar, and Hebron, and Uzeli, and the years of the life of Kohath were 133 years. And the sons of Merari, Mahai, and Mushai, these are the families of Levi according to their generations. Now there's a reason why this is given. Amram, Okay, let's go back by an Amram. Verse 18, he's of Kohath. I'll try to remember that later on. So that's interesting. Amram took him Jochebed, his father's sister to wife. That's his aunt, I believe. It's a pure breed of a family. There is no law yet that you can't see the nakedness of your there's no law yet. And God has had Abraham say, listen, you marry, make sure you marry into the Levite tribe. No mixed marriages. You go back and do what Isaac did. He went and, and got, got of the family of Abraham. You do what Jacob did. He went and got in the family of Isaac. Now, you make all the Alabama jokes you want all that, but God wants a pure breed. Now, later on, later on he's going to set a law. But you got a pure breed of people here. 
Levi was of Leah, of the Syrian, of Laban. You have got a pure Syrian root here that will become a people of Israel. Isaac was Syrian, married a Syrian wife. Rachel, uh, Rebecca. So Aaron took him, Jacob, and his father's sister to what? Why? And she bare him Aaron and Moses. There's the parents of Moses and Aaron. And we already know that they have a sister. We don't see her name yet. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. Moses and Aaron are brothers, and their mother and father, their father is Amram, and his mother is Jochebed, according to the Bible. And they are of Levi. So this is where the Levites get their priestly blessed. From who? From Moses and Aaron, from Amram and Jochebed. There are no priests before Aaron. Assigned by God. Aaron is the first priest, the first high priest. Here is the Levitical priest order. And the years of the life of Amram were 130 and 7 years. You can date these. And the sons of Izar, Korah, and Nipgag, and Zechariah. Zechariah. And the sons of Uzai, Meshio, and Ezerphan, and Zechariah. And, and Aaron took him Elisheba, the daughter of Aminadab, sister of Nashon, to wife. Now, Exodus 6.23, Ruth 4.20, Matthew 1.4, Numbers 1.7, and 2.3 and 7.12. This, uh, this Aminadab is a daughter of the tribe of Judah. Aaron, the high priest, marries into the tribe of Judah. Sister Nasha and the wife, and she bare him Nadab and Abihu, they're going to die. Eliezer, that's going to be a famous name coming up. And Ithamar, famous but not so famous. Not as much as Eliezer. He'll be passed on. When Aaron dies, he'll become the high priest. And the sons of Korah, Asari and Elkina, Abishaphath, these are the families of the Korahites. And Eliezer, Aaron's son, took him, one of the daughters of Pahil, to wife. And she bare him Phinehas, he's going to be famous. These are the heads of the fathers of the Levites according to their families. These are that Aaron and Moses to whom the Lord said, Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Egypt according to their armies, a nation. Israel has had no army before. Abraham made a confederate, uh, I think with Genesis and rescue Lot. Here are their armies. These are they which spanked the Pharaoh the king to bring out the children of Israel from Egypt. These are that Moses and Aaron. See how God, that Moses, that Aaron. And it came to pass on the day when the Lord spanked the Moses in the land of Egypt. He's no more in Sinai. He's in Egypt. That the Lord spanked unto him, spanked unto Moses, saying, I am the Lord. I think God's a little angry. Speak thou unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say unto thee. Then check chapter 5, verse 3 and 4, 2. Moses has skipped a few little words along the way. He's given half the message. Well, that's common through the Bible. And Moses said before the Lord, Behold, I am of circumcised, I mean, I am of uncircumcised lips. I am of uncircumcised lips. How shall Pharaoh hearken unto me? He's not going to listen. Now I think he's, you know, alibying. He's not going to listen. Lord, why do it? I already did it. I already talked to him. Moses is not getting the point. I'm going to get them out, will you? 
I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. He's not going to listen. Why have me do it? All right, then Moses, go pick up a shovel. Go pick up a hammer. Go pick up something. Then get to work then. So there's where you stand. 